Today we'll be doing Lesson 5-2b about the sums and differences of cubes. First, we have our equation 8x cubed minus 27. A, 8x cubed is a cubed, and negative 27 is b cubed. Then you're going to uh, factor tree the 8, and that is going to be 4, and then 2, and then 2, and then 2. We are looking for any group of 3. In this case, we have 2, 2, and 2. So 8 is also equal to 2 cubed. Then you do the same thing for x cubed, so that would mean it would just be x. So then you have 2x equals a. Then you do the same thing for 27. The negative will come back later. So then you have 9 and 3, and then 3 and 3, and you have one group of 3. So 3 cubed equals 27, so b equals 3. Now having found the value of a and b, you then plug it into the equation a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. So we have a as 2x, b as 3, then keep filling it in, and a is 2x, a is 2x, b is 3, then b squared would be 3 squared. So then you're going to solve it like a normal equation. You're going to have 2x minus 3 uh, times 4x squared plus 6x plus 9. So 8x cubed minus 27 is factored down to 2x minus 3 times 4x squared plus 6x plus 9. So then I'm going to give you two practice problems. The first one is going to be 64x cubed plus 125y cubed. And the second problem is 27x cubed plus 64. Now pause the video and try to solve these on your own. Okay, so in order to find a, start with a cubed, which is equal to 64x cubed. You then find the cubic root of 64x cubed by using a factor tree. Uh, so a is equal to 4x. Using the same method to find b, take 125y cubed and find a cubic root again, which is 5y. So now you're going to take the value for a and b and plug it into the formula. So you will have 4x minus 5y times 4x squared plus 4x times 5y plus 5y squared. Next, you simplify to get 4x minus 5y times 16x squared. So again, we have 4x minus 5y times 16x squared plus 20xy plus 25y squared. So that's simplified. That's the simplified answer from 64x cubed plus 125y cubed. So then our next problem is 27 a cubed, x cubed, sorry, plus 64, and 27x cubed is equal to a cubed, and 64 is equal to b cubed. Then you use the factor tree, and you factor 27, and you get 3, and then you do the same thing to x, and you get x, and so then a equals 3x, and you do the same thing to 64, and so b equals 4. Using those values, we're going to plug them into the formula. So you have 3x minus 4 times 3x squared plus 3x 
times 4 plus 4 squared. Which simplifies to 3x minus 4 times 3x squared, sorry, 9x squared plus 12x plus 16. Making that the factored form of 27x cubed plus 64. Minus now we're going to go to the sum of cubes. Working with the sum of cubes is similar to working with the difference, except the formula is a little different. So our first problem is 125x cubed plus 27y cubed. So you have a cubed equals 125x cubed and b cubed equals 27y cubed. To find a and b, you find the cubic root of 125x cubed and 27y cubed, and you get a equals 5x and b equals 3y. So when you're finding the sum, the formula is different because you add a and b and subtract a squared minus ab. So now we're going to plug in the numbers. So you have 5x plus 3y times 5x squared minus 5x times 3y plus 3y squared. And then that simplifies down to 5x plus 3y times 25x squared minus 15xy plus 9y squared. So our first practice problem is 216x cubed plus 8y cubed. So now we're going to use a factor tree and factor 216. So you're going to have 2 in 108 and then 2 in 54 and then 2 and 27, 3 and then 9 and then 3 and then 3. So then we have two groups of 3. We have 2 and 3. So then you multiply 3 and 2 to equal 6. And then you do x cubed and find the cubic root of that. So that's x. So then your cubic root of a cubed is 6x. So then you find the cubic root of 8y cubed and you get b equals 2y. So now we're going to plug it into the equation, or the formula. So 6x plus 2y times 6x squared minus 6x times 2y plus 2y squared. And then that simplifies down to 6x plus 2y times 36x squared minus 12xy plus 4y squared. And that's the factored form of 216x cubed plus 8y cubed. So now we're going to do our final thing, factor by grouping. So we have our equation a cubed minus 4a squared plus 3a minus 12. So then we're going to group them into two different ones. So you have a cubed minus 4a squared, and then another group is 3a minus 12. So then you write down a cubed minus 4a, and then 3a minus 12. So then you factor out what they have in common. So the first grouping has a squared in common. So you have a squared, and then parentheses, a minus 4. And then you factor out what the other one has in common, which is 3. So then you have a minus 4. And remember, after you factor these, the inside of the parentheses needs to match up. So then you take the outside variables, which is a squared and 3, and put them in the parentheses. And then you take the same 
equation, which is a minus 4, and put that in the second parentheses. And that's how you factor by grouping. So then we'll do our first practice problem, which is going to be x to the 4th plus 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus 12x. So now we're going to group them into two different groups. So you have x to the 4th plus 3x squared, and then you have your second group as 4x cubed plus 12x. So then you're going to factor them and factor out what you can out of each parenthesis. So you have x squared, so you have x squared plus um, 3, and then you're going to do the same thing to the next one. So you're going to have 4x, and then you're going to have x squared plus 3. And again, make sure the numbers in the parentheses match up. So then you're going to take the numbers and like variables outside of the parentheses and make them into their own, so x squared plus 3, and then take the inside equation and make it another, so that's x squared plus 3. So then that's your um, factored by grouping. Hope you learned something from this. Thanks for watching.